My name is Grandma's Half Sick of the Rain. Welcome to my channel. The Mirror of the Truth. I will ask you some questions today. First is why should you, in the house name, pay people for a massacre of innocent animals? when it is not necessary. I am, for the help of for at least all of my life, a vegan. So, if it is not necessary, I am a living example of that. Furthermore, animals are selfish and aware. The Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness. I will explain that if you are not willing to take my word for it. There are a sensory old nervous system connected to a brain. It is generally accepted that if you have a central nervous system connected to a brain, you are conscious, you have emotions, you can feel pain. I cannot explain it in a more simple way. Animals want to be free, want to be happy, want to be with living creatures, their wants in their life. They don't want a knife in their throat. They want to be happy in the field with other members of their species or people they are or hominids they are like that will uh, cuttle them and give them belly rubs. They don't want to be commodified. They don't want to be raped. That lions do something to also not make it right. There's an appeal to nature fallacy. I've made a video about that. You can check it out. Since the, I, since the majority of the world do it, does not make it right. If the whole majority of the world was a uh, child molester, child molester, make that right? According to some statistics, over the over the health of all the countries in the world have not uh, laws to protect children from child marriage. 100 countries on the planet have no legal protection for children to be forced in child marriage. That's not a joke. There are, according to my knowledge, there are only something like 195 countries on the planet, or 96. So that's more than the help. There's a majority of the countries in the world who don't think child marriage is bad. At least according to their laws. So let me not take that. If something is accepted by the majority as necessarily as natural is if it being a tradition or that some uh, prophets have done it in the past, but are, are terrible justified. Are, are terrible reasons to justify it. the mass murder, rape, and commodification of billions of innocent beings. Any year, sixty, sixty billion to 70 billion land animals, conservative statics, are killed any year for people's food choices. And trillions, exactly one, uh, 2.8 um, trillion sea animals are killed any year for food choices we don't need. That is unnecessary violence. I'm not rude, I'm not arrogant. 
I don't defense cruelty. So it is maybe time to mirror on yourself. Reflect on your own indoctrinations. And go vegan. And stop forcing your lifestyle onto pigs, chickens, turkeys, cows and pigs, sheep, turkeys, fish. There are not willing participants. Just like children don't want to be um, participants in child marriage by some creepy Saudi Arabia man or from another country who oh, will support child marriage. Again, when you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence. Like slave masters, also, where the majority of the people that were or not opposed to it, or seconds, support it. And if you are not opposed to something, you are indirectly is supporting it. Also, uh, racism was um, accepted by the majority. Anybody was doing it in the 19th century. And if you then say it is okay to discriminate against animals, what is called a speciesism, and say that is normal, you are nothing better than the people in that time. Let's say that um, right supremacy and racism were okay because anybody was doing it. Serious. Check out Hamann's letters on slavery. And look how, it, look what that bastard was saying. And reflect on your own choices. Eat beans, eat lentils, eat legumes. Eat bananas, eat oranges, eat dates, eat mushrooms. Many of choices. You can eat pastas, you eat, can eat potatoes, you can eat noodles, or you can eat uh, vegan cheese made from uh, cocos nuts or so soybeans. Or onions, or hazelnut seeds, etc. Go vegan for the animals, for the planet, and for the future. Because animal agriculture is the biggest cause of environmental damage as well. 51% of all the greenhouse gas emissions that is 32.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide CO2 being launched into the sky by the meat dairy in egg sector. Statics from the World Watch Institute. According to the World Bank, 91% uh, of all the deforestation in the Amazon rainforest is because of animal agriculture. And because of the fishing industry, only 10% of the oceans are not overfished. The rest, 90%, is overfished because of the fisheries 
and their dogmatic, blind arrogance. And the people who support this product, or must I say, victims, exploitation. Veganism and give people actually a chance to do something. A stand of placing good attention in their mask to play to pay that road to hell. Veganism give people actually a chance to do something. A stand of playing lip service to all the problems on the planet. From environmental pollution to uh, exploitation of African people and the stealing of their food. In fact, at least 50%, that's a very low conservative estimate, of all the food on the planet is feed to livestock. According to statics, around Nine, uh, eighty-four percent of all the children who die from starvation are living in countries where those animals, the majority of the animals we or people in the West eat, actually, we not. I'm not because I'm not one of you. I'm vegan, but you can say. That 4% of all the animals on the planet live in countries where children die from food. That's what the statics actually say. So, you can go vegan. Stop being a hypocrite. Go vegan. There's no excuse against veganism. Accept it, make a plea and move forwards. That you uh, like too much the taste of uh, flesh, which is actually the salt and the pepper and all the things that come with the flesh. That's a pretty arrogant excuse. How do you think that uh, people react when you use it for, uh, to defense cannibalism? That you say, oh, I like people too much, they're so tasty. I think you will find them in jerk, and I think you, a uh, right one, will kick them in the face and break all their teeth. <laughs> How dare he be so arrogant that he thinks that his taste spots are more important than the life of innocent beings. Is it not ironic that you use the same excuses as the cannibal in that regard? A person alike is a Wakanami. Japanese Cannibal. Or another one you maybe know a little bit better as Jeffrey Demo. Indeed, when darkness and light become one, the reality splits away and the truth becomes visible.